Look at this. Josh is feeling. Oh! Oh! Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. I'm Mike. We got a really big project because Flight Fest is coming up. And if you guys have ever seen a Flight Fest, whether it's in a recap video or you've been to Flight Fest, you know how much we love combats. Last year, Anders Lou helped us supersize a crack in here, and we thought size would really be the thing that would win it, and we did really good. We had a lot of carnage in the air, but ultimately, enough small airplanes snagging on a big airplane will still take it down. Now this year, we want to take a little bit of a different path. So we're going to take a normal size crack in and slap some motions on it. I realized it. Recently, we started fiberglass in our airplanes and we learned a lot when we took our arrows and flew them right through the pavilions and actually put dents in the wood instead of destroying the airplanes. This time, instead of going for size, we're gonna go for toughness and speed. Now, our goal is pretty simple here. We're gonna start this here before Flight Fest and we're gonna finish it at the event so we can get help from our community and hopefully put a lot of carnage in the sky. We gotta start building. Yes, let's get to it. Now the Kraken may be new to a lot of you guys if you're new to the Flight Test family here. This basically came out with a challenge to see how much of an airplane we could build with basically $10 of foam board. And uh, we came up with the Kraken. Uh, we also used the Kraken to do lots of sketchy stuff from our airsoft battle in midair to towing airplanes up. And the reason it got the Kraken is because it simply will not die. Uh, at our last Flight Fest in 2019, uh, Andrew Slew made a humongous Kraken powered off of monster motors and we sent it up in the battle and it was absolutely incredible. Uh, this year we're going to be taking a much different approach. We're going to build a stock size Kraken, similar configuration to what Andrews did, but this time we're going to glass it. And if you guys haven't seen already, we took a couple of arrows, which is a much smaller version of a wing that we make, and we glassed them, and we were able to fly them in pavilions and all sorts of crazy stuff. Smack them to tons of poles, and they were like indestructible. Indestructible. So this time we're not necessarily going big, we're going for strength, and I think a lot of other community members are also bringing out what they actually call their juggernauts as well. So the FTCA is going to have this. Did I hear somebody say it's FTCA? You did, you did. You guys know what the FTCA is? The FTCA stands for Flight Test Community Association. This is our group of where we're gonna be putting action uh, to our vision. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the FTCA is all about bringing hope to the hobby. So this, how how better can you bring hope to the hobby than by smashing airplanes just, out of the sky? Okay, bring it hope to the hobby while crushing, crushing them. Out there. <laughs> we like making memories. We like yes. carnage. We like also equipping people to dream big. So the FTCA is going to be entering the combat with a Kraken. All right, you guys are doing great. We're just going to finish off the airframe, and then it's glassy time. What you doing over here, Mikey? I am scuffing <laughs> up and sanding down the plane so the fiberglass is able to stick better to the surface of the film. Okay. Normally you wouldn't want to scuff up your plane, but in this case, it's a great idea. So it's just gonna lay nice over top of it and actually it'll stick nicely. Hopefully if the scratches will let the fiberglass actually bond to the foam rather yes. than just lay on top. Yeah, because it's water resistant foam board, so it's, it's got a little more fattiness to it. Similar to like what you would do with your razor blade to your servos for the glue to stick to your yes. airplane. Very similar, right? Yes. So, you heard it here first. Dude, well, good luck, sir. Thank you. Keep on, keep on uh, scratching me. away. <laughs> All right, what we got going on here? So, we are going to be fiberglassing the bottom of the wing. Kraken. We already did some test samples of the fins and the ailerons. Me and Michael are feeling good, but we're gonna do something a little different than usual. We're gonna be doing a giant sheet. This is gonna be probably the biggest section of wing that we've ever done. So we're doing it twice. Yes, and we're doing it twice. You feeling good? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Good luck, guys. All right, so what are you doing now, Noah? So we are mixing up the resin. Uh, the resin that we have is a three to one ratio. So for every three parts of part A, we have to put one part of the hardener. So gotcha. it is a very messy process. Yes. And I am a very bad pourer. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just excited for this fiberglass wing just to go ripping through other airplanes. <laughs> I just want to see as much carnage as possible. Now I'm waiting for this to be in the Flight Fest episode and a flashback to Noah saying this, crashing and blowing up on the ground.
All right, so obviously we're working on this crazy combat glass Kraken. But here's the issue is we've got everything kind of laid out, but we need some heavy duty servos for my friends at the FTCA so that this combat Kraken can live on and win the day. Unfortunately, we only have smaller servos that aren't probably gonna cut it. So I gotta call my friend Cornell over at Emacs and see if he's got anything that can really help us out. So I'm gonna call Cornell over at Emacs and see if they got anything that helps out. Hello. What's up, Steph? What's up, what's happening, Cornell? What's happening, bud? <laughs> good, man, good. Can't complain, man. That's How about yourself? Doing all right, man, doing all right. Just sitting here with a problem, right? Um, so we're making this giant Kraken, okay, uh, for combat, and we're gonna have dual ailerons, all this crazy stuff. It's glass, so it's gonna be like a, a juggernaut Kraken. The problem is, sir, is that I don't think we have any servos that are gonna withstand all of these crazy airplanes attacking this giant Kraken. So I immediately thought of you guys over at Emax, you yourself, I was wondering, what, do you got anything for us? Like, is there something that you can help us out with? You know, I actually think I have the exact thing that you're looking for. Really? I think we got some pretty strong servos. I'm gonna send it to you right now, if that's all right. Right now? Like, right here, right now? Perfect. Yeah, yeah shoot, yeah, can you send it to me? You got it right here, right here, ready? Right, yeah. And go. Whoa! Dang, dude, that was fast. Dang, that was that was unbelievable. <laughs> Fantastic, dude. Cornell, you are the man. Well, I'm gonna we, dude. You guys are fantastic over there at Amex. Uh, I appreciate that. I'm gonna get to opening this box, and uh, we're gonna get these servos installed um, so that we can have a blast flying this crazy Kraken in combat. Perfect, dude. I am looking forward to that. I will keep you posted. I'll shoot you the video when we're done. Have a great day, man. Thanks so much for this box. Appreciate it. All right, man, you too. See you next See time. See you, man. All right, so Michael did a fantastic job fiberglass in this, and having a good durable airplane is good, but one thing we also need is good control. If we don't have control over this, it's simply not going to fly. We're not going to be able to execute our mission, which is destroying lots of airplanes. Now, Stefan's been working really hard to get us the best servos possible to make sure they're nice and durable. Our next step here, basically, is we're going to go ahead and mount our servos. We're also going to be using our brand new plastic control horns. These have a lot more glue surface and also a little cool zippy top here that will grip it down in there. This should be really good because now, if it does take an impact, it's not going to split on the wood. All right, so next up, why don't we lay out where the servos are going to go and uh, we're ready to move on. So Emacs was super helpful by sending us these Metal Gear servos. These Metal Gear servos are actually meant for a helicopter. They're super fast, incredibly reliable, and also incredibly durable. This is gonna give us the reliability we need to be able to make sure that we can take a hit and keep on flying. And also to make sure that we have the most reliability possible, we're gonna be splitting our elevons. This means that we're gonna have two servos operating two control surfaces on each side, but they're gonna be working together and be matched. That means if say an airplane hits one of our control surfaces and breaks it, we'll still have elevon control on that side of the wing. So the fiberglass Kraken is coming along great. We're gonna basically put a base coat of color down here and then we're gonna take it to Flight Fest and finish off its paint job and also get all the electronics in it. If you guys are new to the Flight Test family, Flight Fest is basically a family reunion from all around the world where pilots and builders and whole families come out to build, fly, crash, and have a lot of fun in the process. This is gonna be a really great opportunity for us to partner with all the different kids and pilots to be able to build this thing and get it finished and ready for its first combat. Uh, level, hey, just turn on, around and throw it level. Hang on, let me take off. All right, Joshy. There go. Oh! Yeah! We're good! All right, rest of you. We're gonna put you guys up in the air in three, two, one, two left and launch. Look at the carnage! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh no, I already lost one motor! You did, you got one down, bro. Oh! Man! 
Hey, man, sit down. I don't know what he got hit at. Make sure whoever that was, I want to give you a big old hug. That was awesome. And also, I realized my fault in my design. We need another round. <laughs> That's right. We need another round. All right. Well, there you go. You never know what's going to happen during a combat here. This is our warm up. We got to make this right before we do it again. Swing circle. We're going back up so it's a new day and a lot of new lessons learned. I really thought we'd last a little bit longer. Um, a couple major learning lessons. Whenever you get excited, whenever you get eager, pay attention to the little details, especially. We put all of our heart into fiberglassing this and we made the cardinal mistake of gluing this and I didn't realize that we screwed our motors on without reinforcing it with tape. So one awesome hit from an amazing young man took out this motor and just that shock alone knocked everything loose. We stayed in the air, but not very long. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and go back to the drawing board what we're gonna do now is we're gonna still make those two motors. We're still gonna get the power, but this time, instead of having two motors up in the front, I'm gonna put it into a push-pull situation where I'm gonna take one motor, mount it on the back end into our power pod that's already established. I'm gonna take our other motor, I'm gonna cut it into the front, protect it, sink it back in there, and that's gonna help us with the nose weight to keep this balanced. So even if I lose the front one, I'll have the back one. If I lose the back one, I'll have the front one. One of these motors will actually keep it in the air, no problem, so we should be pretty good. One good thing here is typically whenever we get a huge impact, it hurts our servos. These Emaxes are going strong. The redundancy is good with this. I just gotta fix my power plant. So I'm gonna hack this up, get the hot glue gun going, and I think in about 15, 20 minutes, we're gonna have this ready to fly again. All right, so it is 4.03. Uh, we have it about an hour. We have a combat happening. Kind of special combat because we have a combat Kraken and we need all hands on deck, right? So we need everybody with their airplanes to come and literally try to take down this juggernaut of a combat Kraken. So please get your planes ready, get them fixed up, get your juggernauts, bring them out, because we want to bring this thing down to the ground. And we'll see how it holds up. But uh, so bring them out at five o'clock, at five o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Bring your stuff out, we're gonna have a crazy combat. We'll see you guys there. Thanks guys. You can grab my bolts and cells if you want. Right, that's what I'm trying to do. There we go. Okay. Uh, our next build will be going up here. Plus the combat cracking. All right, get me over that way. Yeah, and there's Josh with the big combat cracking there. Good work. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Look at that thing go, man. All right, I'm going to plug. All right, I think it's time to do some carnage here in a second. In five, four, three, two, one, and launch. Everybody All right. Behavior here. It's open. <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought yesterday was epic. This is even more so. Oh my goodness. There is a sea of foam right now, guys. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness.
Our plane, our plane. Favorite, favorite combat of all times, hands down, and it even ended with an epic plane. Noah's out there trying to save. Noah's out there trying to save the 360 camera so we can actually show this to you. Hopefully, it recorded everything because right now it's burning. Combat's over. My plane is on fire. Let's go ahead and see the carnage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is fantastic. Oh look! It was a string! <laughs> it was the string! String! Where did the string come from? It looks like the string or something just tangled it up and then burned it up. Oh my gosh! Who is, where's my friend that hit me? Alright. So uh, here's the person that took me down right here, dude. Going, awesome work. Josh. What's your name? Josh. Also Josh. Two Josh. I, here. You know what? It's destined. It's the magnetic right? energy it's in the magnetic air. Magnetic energy got it. in the air. Fantastic. <laughs> Ren, Josh. Great work, man. Awesome work. Awesome guys. Well, Thank friends, you. thanks for being part of the Flight Test family. Make sure you hit that subscribe bell. Also, thanks to all the great people that came out here for Flight Test, made the memories, dreamed big, did big, and uh, made a lot of carnage along the way. We'll see you next time.